Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for June 1st. This reading is for somebody. I don't know who. It may or may not be you. We're just going to see what comes up. It's a daily energy for Saturday, June 1st, but timing is fluid. There are no clocks in, you know, divine timing. So, we're just going to get an overall energy for the day with this card right here. What do we got for June 1st? That was a pile. We're not going to take a pile. Just one. Mmm. I just put lotion on my hands. Um, happiness. This is, this is, uh, extremely bright. I mean, this is, this is sunshine. This is, this is growth. This is rebirth. This is renewal. This is enlightenment, contentment, happiness. So somebody, you know, is seeing the bright side of things. This is a very positive energy. So it could be a very positive day. I don't know, but this is a very light-hearted energy. It's, it's just like uh, seeing the light in situations. Instead of the darkness, this is seeing the light, okay? Card of warmth, right? June first. Somebody is doing a lot of thinking about the past. There's a lot of memories on the table here. This is memories. This could be a very intense time. I mean, with the Queen of Cups, this is intense. This is emotional. very calm energy, you know, but this is thinking. This is not really taking it. This is somebody who is thinking about the past. I mean, thinking about the memories, a lot of memories, like I already said that. Here we have this new opportunity, new potential. Somebody has manifested something. This is something big. We have a huge opportunity here, a huge new opportunity for abundance, something solid, something long term. Somebody's thinking about their abundance. They're thinking about this bigger, better opportunity, whatever it is. Or they're thinking about this big opportunity. Same thing. They're thinking about, you know, the past. They're thinking about the new opportunity. Unable to take action. Three of Cups. This is happiness. This is joy. This is celebrating life. This is friendship. Somebody may have a new friend. Just saying. Mm. The sun reversed. Yeah, we got somebody who hasn't been very happy. You know, maybe they go from negative thinking to positive thinking. Maybe they have some sort of switch. Huh. Oh, why 
wanting to go back. Somebody's thinking of wanting to go back to the past or they're thinking about going back to the past. Or they've been deceived by the past, which has made them think negative about the future, right? There's been some deception here. There's been some lies, sneaky, shady behavior. Maybe this sneaky, shady behavior has caused somebody to, you know, not open their heart. This is justice being served. This is justice. This is a, an opportunity to bring balance back. Somebody is trying to find balance. Somebody is trying to do the right thing. Somebody is seeking balance and they're in the process of making a decision. Today is a day of thinking about happiness. It's thinking about what makes you happy. I mean, this is what we got here. This is thinking, but this is not taking, thinking about going back to the past or thinking about the bigger opportunity. Thinking about letting the past hinder my new opportunity. I mean, what? That's just what this is. Somebody is in the process of making a decision. Mm. Knight of Cups. This is somebody, you know, taking action and making an offer of love, wanting more. This is somebody who is wanting, wanting more in a relationship. They're wanting romance. They're wanting relationship growth. I think we have somebody here that may have been keeping their, their feelings a secret. But... You know, there's a, there's a, there's a huge opportunity here that is kind of it's kind of big. Um, let me get this focused in. Now there could have been, you know, there there could have been another person. There could have been another person in the mix that. has stopped this person from taking action, okay? There could be a person that has stolen another person's energy and has hindered a person's ability to, to move, to follow their heart, has brought a person down. I'm just going to be honest with you. And I feel like we have somebody here that, that wants their happiness back. It's like, I want, my, I want to go back to my happiness. Somebody's been in an unhappy situation. It's like they want it back. I just want to be happy again. Somebody may have received some karma for involving themselves in a third-party situation as well. I mean, you know, the Three of Cups can be a third-party situation. And I think there's another woman here. Okay? So I'm not sure if you're... There's, there's a third-party situation here. And I feel like we have somebody here that has caused somebody to... to grieve there's been some grieving going on but this is there's an unrequited love situation here there is there is somebody has been unable to take action and follow their heart because there's another person in the way I hate this kind of shit And it's like all they want to do is go back. They just want to. They just want to. They want love. I want my happy. I want happiness here. Yeah, I want to go back. I want to go back. Now this is this is forgiveness. This is healing. But we have somebody here that is unable to take action. It's like they want to do the right thing. They want to. But they may be they may be fearful that they won't be forgiven. Somebody has lost a love.
is like there's this is this is deception this is deception somebody has been lying about their feelings or lying about yeah lying about their feelings there may be no attraction there's this is unrequited love there's no physical attraction there's no attraction but we have somebody here that has been reluctant to take any action maybe because it was something to hold on to you know it was something to have I feel like we have somebody here that is really thinking about really really thinking about you know integrity they're thinking about who they are they're thinking about stability they're thinking about security they're thinking about um, long-term goals and I think that they have involved another person that doesn't make them happy and it's like their heart wants the heart wants what it wants and I think their heart wants something else it's like this person is just like, I, I want I want my happiness. And they're focused on, it's like they're really thinking about their happiness. That's what we got here. Somebody is going through a period of enlightenment. They're thinking about their happiness. They're thinking about what happiness is. And I think that they're, they're probably wanting to, or they're thinking about walking away from this unrequited love situation where there's really no attraction. It's like there's no, it's not attractive. It's not love. It's It's not reciprocal. It's not whatever it's just not there okay and somebody has been cheating themselves of real love by staying in this situation and I think we have somebody here that is ready to leave the emotional disappointment behind and head towards happiness I I just want to head towards happiness so I think somebody is is going to be making the practical decision to walk away from this emo emotional disappointment, okay? And I think I think what they've been tested, they have been their integrity, okay? This is my test card, and underneath it is integrity. It's like their integrity has been tested. Somebody's integrity has been tested. Anyway, I feel like we have somebody here. There's about and that justice is somebody is about to do the right thing, all that is practical and responsible. And they're going to walk away from whatever this is that is <laughs> unrequited. You know, it's not, it's not desirable, whatever it is. You know, the three of swords reverse, maybe they're hoping for forgiveness. This is releasing pain. It's time to leave it behind. It's time to leave behind the person that. There's no more growth where there, there isn't. It's time to move in a new direction. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is transitioning out of a troublesome situation. It's like they're they're mastering their thoughts. It's like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna it's mind over matter and it's time for me to, you know, steer my life in a new direction. So I feel like we have somebody here that you know, has really, they're, they're, today's a day of thinking, June 1st, or they have been thinking, they've been thinking about walking away from this non-attractive love situation where it's just, there's no love there, and heading, following their heart. I think their heart has been, you know, guiding them, and their intuition, very intuitive here. It's like somebody's intuition has really been telling them, you know, you've got to follow your heart. It's time for you to follow your heart. Um, somebody may be receiving a message from somebody that makes them really, really, really happy. Mmm, page of coins reversed. Somebody is reluctant to apologize. They're, they're reluctant to face their fears. This person has lost their focus. They, they, they don't follow through with tasks, you know. And in the past, they've, they've lacked integrity. Whoever this person is, they didn't act with integrity at all. 
you know, maybe they had a player um, you know they went through a phase of that kind of energy, you know what I mean? Maybe, 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 you know, they were immature, you know? It looks like we have somebody here that just couldn't follow through with or apologize. They didn't, they, they couldn't, you know, they couldn't, they just, you know, didn't. This is lack of integrity. I think we were dealing with somebody who just didn't have the morals or the backbone to follow through with anything, didn't want to be held accountable, didn't want to follow, didn't, didn't want to, didn't want to own up to anything. But now it's like they want this relationship. They want a relationship. Somebody is really let fear get in the way. Somebody has been really stubborn. Somebody has... Uh, not wanted to give their power away. Somebody has not been telling the truth. Somebody, you know, has been trying to prove a point. And it's like, I don't think they want to fight anymore. It's like, I, I don't want to fight anymore. I just want to be happy. I want to be happy. It's like they don't want to fight anymore. So I, f I feel like we have somebody here that is going through, you know, a transition. I think they're reevaluating. They're reevaluating their life path. They're reevaluating their future. They see that there's a bigger, better opportunity. And I think they're giving up on the wrong one. I mean, this is the other person underneath here, the other woman or the other person. I'm giving up on the other one. Because of this big opportunity, you know, I see that there's a bigger, better opportunity. So I feel like we do have somebody here that has been reluctant to make any moves. They've been reluctant to make any moves, but the heart wants what the heart wants, okay? That Knight of Cups is like, I got my heart wants what my heart wants. So this is an offer of love coming in. It's like, I want romance, I want romance. And I think it, there was so much fear, maybe fear of commitment or fear of, you know, giving away power or whatever it is that somebody couldn't move forward. But now they are. Somebody is masking their, emo their emotions, they're getting in their, you know, they're getting behind the wheel and they're taking, they're putting the pedal to the metal. I'm moving forward and mastering my emotions and I'm heading in a new direction. So we definitely, definitely have somebody here that is heading in a new direction with this Six of Swords and this Chariot card. I mean, we got somebody here that is moving on. They're moving. They're moving. Um, it's like you can't stop it. You can't stop it from happening. Where they've been, there, there hasn't been peace. And now it's like, I got to go. I got to go to this better place. I can't, I can't stay here anymore. You know? So somebody is, after being fearful, it's like they're replacing that fear with faith and they're moving in the new direction very quickly. So, you know, I think the day starts out with a lot of thinking. And it progresses to somebody taking action. You know, this is taking action. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go. i got to go. So yeah, I mean, that's what I got. I guess I, I really don't need any other, any more cards. I feel like we have somebody here that is taking action to follow their heart in a new direction. It's like, I don't, I don't, there's nothing left to fight about. There's nothing left. I don't, I don't want to fight. I'm going to, we're going to take this day by day. There's no need to hurry. Let's just, let's just, you know, 
one step at a time. I think what happens is, is somebody makes a decision. Because this, this uh, justice card is the decision, the final decision. It's like somebody makes the decision to be practical, to act with integrity, to face their fears, face the opposition, go after the better opportunity, and hope for the best. It's like we're going to hope for the best. We're not going to rush. We're going to take our time. We're going we're to take our time with this. Maybe they ask you to go out on a date. You know, that's socializing. Somebody could be asked to go out on a date. You know? And there's no rush. There's no rush. But this could lead to victory and success. It could lead to something long term. It could lead to something, you know, very solid. This is a, lo a long term, solid opportunity that you can, you know, take to the bank. What what's happened is is we I think we have somebody here that is leaving behind something that has caused them a lot of emotional disappointment. It's like I'm 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 not looking back anymore. There's no more looking back. I'm I'm headed. I'm leaving this trouble behind. I'm leaving this despair behind. I'm headed I'm headed towards to this what's the word it just came to me and it left um, beautiful place whatever it is that wasn't it but sanctuary of some sort I'm headed I'm headed So yeah, that's what I got. That is what I got. There's nothing else to say. There really isn't. I feel like, you know, it's pretty clear cut. It is pretty clear cut. I feel like somebody is taking back control, taking back control of my life, and I'm not going to live this lie. Somebody has been living this lie. They've been living or staying in an unrequited love situation. They have. But the heart wants what the heart wants. So I think somebody's moving. They could be literally moving. Somebody could be moving out. They could, you know, hit the road, Jack. This isn't love. This isn't love. And somebody has been cheating themselves of love. So that's what I got. Good luck.